welcome to this first look at my Health Professions Lab for the Pharmacy Technician Foundations and Practice 2nd Edition by Mike Johnston. My Health Professions Lab is a robust learning program providing students a multitude of resources to become skilled pharmacy technicians. Utilizing an interactive learning environment, My Health Professions Lab helps students master difficult concepts through practice and repetition. Content is available anywhere and instantly. A few key features of My Health Professions Lab include increased student preparedness. We know how valuable class time is. Make the most of it by assigning our pre-class activity that walks students through the interactive e-text before coming to your class. Additionally, students can practice their critical thinking skills. There are pre-built exercises for every chapter built in My Health Professions Lab, and all are auto-graded to save you time. And of course, throughout the lab, you'll find our robust instructor package, including a test bank, an instructor's resource manual, PowerPoints, and an image bank. So let's take a look at My Health Professions Lab for the Pharmacy Technician. Your students will start out at www.myhealthprofessionslab.com. This is our home page and where both you and your student will sign in. Once signed in, you'll come to our course home page, which looks like this. We really wanted to be able to make things simple for your students so that immediately when they come to their course home page, they'll know two things. They'll know what's expected of them, as well as how they're doing in your course. In terms of understanding what's expected of them, our scrolling calendar at the top of their screen very nicely illustrates what activities they have due when. It's an icon-based calendar, and anything that's a blue circle is going to indicate a homework item. Anything that's an orange square is going to indicate a quiz. Anything that's a green diamond is going to indicate a test. And again, to keep things simple for your students, you'll notice as you hover, all of these activities are hyperlinked. So with a simple click, the students can go exactly to that assignment to complete it. Additionally, students can find their assignments in the upcoming assignments listing that's also on the course home page, or they can go to the left-hand toolbar, drop open the chapter assignments, and access their assignments by chapter. In addition to seeing what's expected of them in your course, we also want them to understand at a quick glance how they're doing in your course. And that's why on our course homepage, we also have a result section. The result section is going to track all of the assignments the students have completed. They'll be able to see their overall score versus a benchmark target. In our course timeline, again, they can see a benchmark target of 80% and they can see how each of their assignments was completed. Now perhaps you're allowing them to go in and do their homework multiple times. Well, then they know that this homework A in Chapter 24 is really pulling their average down. They can go in and redo that assignment to try to pull their average up. So now that we've looked at the course homepage, let's go into the chapter assignments themselves and take a look at some of this content. We've preloaded assignments into your course to save you time. Every single chapter is going to give your students lots of opportunities to practice. We believe that practice makes the professional, and here they'll be able to get that reinforcement that they need to be successful pharmacy technicians. We have two homework assignments, homework A and homework B, that we've created and pre-populated for every single chapter. Now 
You'll notice when you open up the homework assignments, the students can walk through answering the questions. They can check their answer and by default the system is going to allow them a second try. If they still do not answer correctly, they will see the correct answer upon completing that second question. Now while we've done the work for you and created these quizzes and set in these defaults, please know that you can always customize these courses and really make them your own. You can add questions, you can delete questions. If you don't want to give your students a second chance to get the answer correct, well, you can just give them one try. But these homework questions really are meant for practice and so that's why our default was to give them a second chance. Additionally, if a student is confused about what exactly is the answer to the question, there's a help feature on the side. They can link out right to the e-text and get more information on that particular topic area. It's a nice way for them to get that additional reinforcement and remediation as they're working through their homework activities. All of these homeworks are auto graded and do feed your gradebook automatically when the student completes them. Additionally, for each chapter, we've created a critical thinking quiz. The critical thinking quiz is really going to allow your students to put into practice what they're learning. Our critical thinking quizzes are essay style questions, so they'll need to look at the question and then type in an essay style answer. In this case, the quiz is two questions. They submit the quiz to you and you will be able to review their answers and assign those points that they've earned. Now for any of our A and P chapters within our Pharmacy Technician My Health Professions Lab, we also have labeling activities for your students. This is one way that we're really trying to engage your students and make learning fun. The labeling activities are great for those students that learn by doing. In this case, they are physically dragging and dropping the answers where they need to be. Now you'll notice this submit button is grayed out. Students do need to plug in an answer for everything before they can submit and before they can see the correct answer. And as with our other activities, these do feed your gradebook and you can see your students scores in these areas. In addition to the assignments that we've pre-built within each chapter, we also have a multimedia library available for your students. For chapter 16 and 17, both which cover math skills. Your students can simply click and watch a video. This is a great way for your more visual learners, your more audio learners to really understand those math concepts. So let's take a quick look now at one of these videos. When we multiply fractions and mix numbers, what we first need to do is to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. So again, remember our rule, we're going to multiply and then add. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So I'm going to rewrite this as 15 fourths times 3 fifths. The next step in multiplication of fractions is to reduce whenever you can. So 
what we can do here is we can reduce 5. We're going to divide 5 and 15 by 5. We're going to reduce that to 1, and this is going to be 3. So if we simply then multiply, we're going to end up with a number of 9 fourths. So this is a really nice feature for your students to get that extra reinforcement that they may need in those essential math skills. Next in our toolbar is our e-text. The e-text is going to be page for page, word for word, exactly like your student's textbook with the added benefit of allowing you the option to create your own notes and highlight within an e-text course. You can simply scroll by using these arrows at the top or by scrolling through the table of contents, which is also all hyperlinked. By creating an e-text course, you can choose to highlight portions of your e-text. Your students would then see those highlights in their book and know that this must be important because their instructor took the time to highlight it. If you'd like to elaborate on why this particular passage is important, you could always grab our notes tool and type a note, give them some more detail, some more explanation. Students do have the option to bookmark pages throughout, search our audio glossary if they'd like to search the audio glossary and they can also use the search feature. The search feature is a really nice way that students can get a starting point if they are struggling with any of the information in the course. When they do a search, we'll automatically pull up results. The results will have the search feature highlighted. They can read, they can go back to their search results go to a different page. For those students that simply are struggling and need a starting point, this is a great way to give them that starting point. And you can use your e-text in the classroom as well. Our projector here allows you to switch to whiteboard mode. You can grab a pen or a drawing shape and write on this just like you would a dry erase board with a dry erase marker. Now, as you would expect to find in an online course, we have lots of tools to help you and your students succeed. You can add your own syllabus if you'd like to add your own syllabus. As you plug dates into your assignments, they will feed your calendar. Again, like on the home page, they are hyperlinked. We have an email feature. You can email right from the site. You don't need to know your students' email addresses. We'll simply email them at whatever email address they use to register for your course. You can also add attachments. We have a document sharing feature that will allow you to upload your own files, which the students can then download. You will see in the downloads column the number of students that have completed the download, and you'll be able to see who did the download and the date and timestamp of when the download was done. We have chat and class live options as well, and a discussion board feature for allowing you to start a discussion topic that your students can all contribute towards. And of course, within the, the site, we're giving you the instructor tools to manage this course, really customize it, make it your own if you'd like to, as well as linking you out to all of your instructor's resources.
Well, thank you for joining this first look at My Health Professions Lab for Johnston's The Pharmacy Technician, Foundations and Practice Second Edition. For more information about how you can add My Health Professions Lab to your Pharmacy Technician course, reach out to your Pearson sales representative. Additionally, you can go to www.myhealthprofessionslab and click our educator button for more information as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for choosing Pearson and have a great day.